Hey YouTube, it's India Kalisa and welcome back to another video. Okay, I know it's been a little minute and y'all probably like, what the fuck happened to Vlogmas? Where have you been? Girl, it's February. What is going on? Honestly, a lot has been going on. So I'm gonna give a little bit of a rundown, but I am here because today I am starting something new. And by that, I mean in every aspect of what in the world I'm about to do with my life, to be honest. <laughs> so I guess a little bit about where I've been. I started a new job around December, beginning of December. It is now February 8th and yeah, a lot of my time really just went into that. It was like a little seasonal job, retail job, but that's over now. And tomorrow I start a new job at a flower shop, which I think is gonna be very nice for me. I get to dig my hands into the soil, into plants, into the flowers and all that good stuff. But that's not why we're here today. So this is not a vlog. This is not a get ready with me. This is not, this is not your typical video. I'm here to just talk and touch base with y'all on what in the world has been going on. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post and yeah. Go ahead. I guess a little bit about where I'm at and everything. I guess this is just like an opportunity to feel or to heal or not heal, but hear where you guys are at right now. Like literally I'm outside of my apartment. I'm sitting on the ground and I'm chasing the sunlight that I do have. I was sitting like on the bench over there, but the sun keeps moving. So I'm gonna step to the side a little bit just so I can get some more sun. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where I've been. But as far as like, or I guess like outside of like my physical where I've been and why I haven't been on YouTube. I have been mentally very low. And I think a lot of that had to do with my job that I was at. Um, so, so I left um, today actually, I quit today. <laughs> and I start my new job tomorrow. Um, so I guess a little bit about where I'm at mentally is guess I guess what I should talk about, right? So again, outside of my physical and where I've been physically, mentally, I've been very, I guess, drained. I haven't been like depressed or anxious or anything. I just, just very drained. I guess that's the best word to describe it as. And I felt like my energy wasn't really valued there. And I felt like it wasn't really aligning with who I am. The biggest thing that I wanted to come on here and talk about, I guess, is about when it's time to leave and how important it is to know when it's time to go or when it's time for change. I feel like a lot of um, what goes on in the world or in your life personally or whatever, try to control what it is or the change that's to come. But really like the change is the most beautiful thing to have happen to you. Like change is really the most important thing to appreciate in this little life we call life. <laughs> I guess where I am today and how I'm feeling today. I've really been reflecting and me and Kylan have been saying like, we've been feeling like we're in a, a, a time of reinvention, I guess, or like uh, going under construction and like redevelopment of who we really are and what we really want and what we do and everything that, that Everything that that makes us us, I guess, I've been feeling like we need to change. So with that being said, I guess that entails really like what we do, what we say, what we dress, how we think, how we present ourselves, how we talk to ourselves and all of that. I feel like that's really important. And since I've been, um, I guess, out here in the DMV or in college, I guess in general, I've been really heavy on that and really, I mean, I read, but like, I guess getting to know myself and who in the world I really am for real, rather than what I think I am. You know, I guess just being tied to society's I guess construct of who I should be or what I should be doing rather than what I really want you know trying to differentiate the, those two who I am for real and then what other people are telling me to be or who they think I should be or who I think I should be and none of that is even really real I feel like that has a lot to do with like the ego and I guess like fear and validation so I've been really learning how to like find the validation within myself rather than others in the world or anyone really it's all part of the journey and I feel like I'm very happy to be able to experience that in this little life that I have so yeah that's where I've been at mentally I've already went over spiritual so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit 
hit three the all three areas the mental the physical and the spiritual okay physically like i said i've been at that job mentally very drained and then we're on spiritually so spiritually this is where i'm at and when i say spiritually i don't mean in the religious states and i don't wish to i guess offend or i don't want to put anyone into a category when i speak on how i feel i only want to share what i feel what i think with the intent of informing or feeling heard really so what i guess i mean by when i say spiritually is how my spiritual body feels and how the energy within me feels and along with the dread that i've been feeling feeling drained and dreaded i've been feeling like i guess yeah very low like low energy all that good stuff so as i'm feeling the way that i am i have been connecting back to nature back to you know where we all come from back to i guess what it is that makes humans like humans and why we act the way that we do with that and the reflection within myself and then from the world and then with through nature i feel like it's time for me to change again everything that i do and with that entails what i eat and what i'm consuming and what i'm putting in my body i'm gonna explain that more of course there's like the the, the food that you put in your body but it's also the media that you're consuming the thoughts that you're consuming from others that become your own because everything is a reflection of other people so yeah being very intentional about what i am consuming and what i'm giving out so let me explain that a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the obvious, the food, right? I have aspirations. You know, of course, everybody has aspirations to eat healthier. I am going to do some research today. I'm gonna talk to my cousin, talk to my aunties, talk to my ancestors, basically, to get some insight on how I can go through this in the most healthy way possible. Cause I'm a small girl, I'm a skinny girl. I'm only like 115 pounds, but I do want to go on a 24 to 72 hour fruit fast i mean strictly water and h3o which is you know water from the fruit it's a process of healing mm -hmm. healing after healing after healing after healing so it's almost like we're plants and we have to continue to nurture ourselves and heal mm -hmm. and break off the bad leaves so the new ones will come mm -hmm. the healing process these are the steps that um brothers and sisters that i would urge you to take in the healing process Number one, identify the wound, mm. you know, the hurt. Identify the hurt, the pain. Sometimes it's relationship-based, sometimes it's job-related, sometimes it's uh, uh, money-related. It's just different things. Whatever it is that's hurting you, what mm. you can do, it's not going to go away because it's going to get harder and mm. harder and harder all the time. Mm. Either we can choose to numb the pain mm. and come back to the same uh, stressful situation every time, or we can go ahead and get involved in the business of healing. Number two is to begin to clean. But again, I guess I should explain why I'm doing this. So I feel like a lot of, of course, what you put in your body is what shows on the outside. So let's keep it 100% real with each other. Like my skin is a direct like um it shows directly like what i'm putting in my body i guess like whatever i put in my body reflects it right on the outside so with that being said i grew up on the dermatologist i grew up on doctors i grew up on western medication today's thursday i had a dermatologist appointment on monday and i did not go because of the simple fact that i was just not comfortable taking the medic the acne medication that i'm on the products that i was using it just it wasn't doing anything for me like i don't see, i haven't seen a change since when i started my freshman year of high school and i'm now a sophomore in college like something gotta get so of course i'll call my auntie my auntie tootie and i'm like yeah i got this appointment tomorrow but i don't really feel like i need to go so like can you help me find an alternative basically my skincare routine basically consisted of straight set of fill products but i think the biggest thing that made me say no i'm not going back to the doctor i'm not gonna rely on you for what i'm feeling or what i need is basically because i feel as if doctors aren't really healers they're more of sales people to be honest like they're not gonna tell you to heal what you really need to heal in order to you know see the results that you need in order to be healthy and live a healthy life so with that being said i mean i tell you i have acne you tell me it's hormonal i'm on i have birth control too i'm on the iud like i said i'm gonna be very crystal clear when i explain what i'm doing or what i'm feeling right so my dermatologists have told me that i have hormonal acne so i was on doxycycline mono 50 milligrams clindamycin phosphate which is a topical cream 
cream for the morning and then tretinoin cream 0.05 or something like that for nighttime and then again all set up a product soap lotions all that good stuff right so i call my auntie i'm like yeah um i use all these products and my acne is not changing and i really i really was questioning really for real this time because i think of course you know the stress that i was under then what i'm eating those two don't go good together but point being the things that are supposed to help me with my skin we're not doing that so i think the biggest thing for, for that i took away from all of that really is to understand that i don't need a clear answer or i don't need fact or i don't need straight up answer as to what it is that i need my intuition and how i feel and really like listening to my body is the most important thing that i have learned how to do within the last two years of my life and by that i mean being able to differentiate when to take advice from somebody or when to be able to listen to myself and what i really want and how I'm really feeling because 10 times out of 10 that's the way that I need to go and that's the way that my energy is needed right <sighs> so being able to rely on myself for a lot of things is what I'm really trying to go towards instead of relying on I'm gonna just say America in general because that has a lot to do with everything <laughs> yes I want to leave the U.S. so bad but I guess in a little different categories that goes to doctors and Western medication as a whole, the food that we eat as a whole, the jobs that don't give a shit about you. <laughs> like within those three is a lot of reliance and not being able to rely on myself for those things, right? That means in what I eat, you buy from the store. What I need from a doctor, I go and buy from them. Money, go get a job so you can get some money. But I really don't wanna go to no job to get no money. <laughs> I really don't wanna rely on no doctor because it has not helped me at all, clearly. Only thing that I've gotten out of that is big ass hospital bills. And what was the third thing? Oh, food, food, yeah. I should be able to grow my own food and farm this bitch if I wanted to. But anyways, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go on no rant. I'm not gonna go on no rant. <laughs> But yeah, I will touch more on these topics later. But for as of right now, I think that the best thing for me to do is to be able to document this journey with you guys. And again, I'm so sorry for not being here for the past month or so. But sometimes it just get like that, to be honest. I'm not even about to hold y'all. Like, life just be beating my ass sometimes and I just can't show up every day, okay? <laughs> you got to be okay with that. So sorry. Um, yeah, but I am just sitting outside, enjoying the sun, listening to the birds, and drinking some water. So... I will let you guys know what research I've come up with, what my ancestors have enlightened me with, and where do we go from here? So, yeah. Hopefully this was long enough for a whole video. I feel like it was. If not, then I'll catch up with y'all later. But just in case this is the end of the video, thank you so much for listening. I missed you guys so much. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post. And yeah, that's it. I love y'all.